Well, I spent some time today trying to find a load from uh, uh, US back to Ontario because I decided to do something different this time and I booked a load. There was nothing good out of here, out of Ontario. And I found a good load out of uh, from near Indianapolis, Indiana, going back to Eastern Ontario. And now two days and I'm loading Friday, today's Wednesday. And the loading point is about uh, 500, like 450 miles away. And I'm still here. I'm still in Cambridge, Ontario. There was no loads. <laughs> oh, geez. So now I have to drive tomorrow. I already signed up for it, right? So I got a cash advance. So I have tomorrow. I have to drive empty. But I spent the time looking into uh, authorities today. So this is the company I found uh, in Canada here, Stateside Consultants. Uh, they register all, uh, you know, all uh, all these operating authorities, and you know. Uh, you can be a broker and stuff like that but because it's a Canadian company they're quite expensive they want about two thousand uh, dollars if you want to be an independent carrier but the, until now this is as far as I went so I found one company um, I know of course in the States it's 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 easier you can do everything yourself online but I mean here in Canada I need both authorities for Canada and US right if I want to go across the borders and, and then it becomes expensive but so until now I only went this far I found this company right so then of course I was looking at various load boards and the biggest is uh, Transcore uh, so and uh, if you go to Transcore.com like the US website right you see the um, you see the name uh, DAT somewhere here DAT uh, Transcore Logistics and they also yeah I see here DAT load boards over here dead load boards right also they're known as uh, 360 and then there's a trucker's edge and I think even getloaded.com it's their their company right yeah dead yeah transcore DAT truckload rate oh this is an index but anyway so it's all fine and uh, nice and dandy if you're just a US driver you know but I mean if you want to be independent in Canada uh, like even here you see Transcore everything changes when you go to the CA website Canadian website there's different phone number and uh, here's a link for carriers and I clicked on that one and basically you can do a free trial and to, to qualify for, for for the free trial you have to give them your information so I tapped in my name my number my email address and the guy called me back oh because I talked to this guy that uh, had that moose uh, mishap and he he actually uh, called these guys before also and they told him it was a uh, three hundred dollars a month for Canada and I said are you crazy that's like that's too much you know for a load board and so now I left my phone number there and the guy calls me back and he says uh, I said yeah so he says where do you, where you plan to go I said well I want to be able to maybe a small amount of loads uh, do inside Canada but the majority of loads will be between Canada and US each time going across the border and he said well okay then it's uh, six hundred dollars <laughs> I said what <laughs> you're joking right he says no it's uh, six hundred dollars per month uh, the first month you have to pay us uh, two hundred dollars uh, setup fee so the first time payment is will be about eight hundred or nine hundred bucks after tax and there's no contract which is so you can cancel any time and there's 30 uh, uh, 30 days uh, uh, money back guarantee so if you cancel within the first uh, 30 months we'll even refund you the money if you think that you cannot do it but I said why do I need to pay so much you know why can I just uh, I know in US your rates are much lower and actually he told me that uh, you need six hundred dollars because you need to see Canadian shippers so it turns out that these guys they have like a whole bunch of boards but uh, the boards offered in US many of them are just uh, basically they only show you US based uh, carriers and US based uh, freight brokers so if I want to move uh, freight inside Canada of course it's it would be stupid just to sign up only for US carriers you know I want to see Canadian shippers and Canadian freight brokers and because of that they want this money so basically yeah 600 bucks but you get uh, you see they have here current loads 135,000 current trucks 77,000 so at least you have less trucks than loads so that means that uh, there's demand for trucks 
you know. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, 600 bucks, you know. So that's the cost of entering this. Uh, first, you have to register your authority, whole bunch of money, right? Uh, then the where do you get the loads? There's nowhere to go unless you have your own uh, carriers. I mean, your own shippers, right? And uh, last but not least, or maybe even more important, is uh, first of all, just to start the ball rolling, uh, you need insurance. And so I called a few companies, and. Uh, uh, company called the Barrows Insurance uh, sent me an email I basically asked them I said they give me like a rough estimate you know I don't need the uh, accurate numbers just I want to have an idea like how much it, will it cost because uh, in order to get a license plate because I don't even have my own license plate right so you use the license plate of the carrier uh, who you operate under who you lease to so right now even though I'm a, I have a Canadian truck, but I, I have an Illinois license plate because I'm using a Landstar Insurance and Landstar Authority, right? I'm leased to them. Like, I'm, uh, you know, I'm helpless because, I mean, I have no rights by myself. I can just uh, take the truck and drive it, you know, like for some personal purpose, but I cannot use it for uh, commercial, uh, commercial purposes, you know, unless I get a license plate and authority and... To start all that, you need insurance. So anyway, so here's the email I got from uh, Mr. Jones at the Barrows Insurance Brokers. Hello, Sergey. Thank you for the call today. In regards to your inquiry, it is difficult to give a ballpark estimate for an insurance quote in trucking because of the variables such as equipment, radius, cargo, driver's history, performance, and abstracts and he means uh, safety abstracts for the driver. However, in general, for your equipment, hauling flatbed, I would estimate, and I just want to point out that this is Canada, right? I'm talking about a Canadian insurance brokerage and I'm a Canadian driver. So usually our, our prices here are higher. So he says that for a flatbed, he estimates that in, the annual premium would be about 8,500 to $9,500, which is already what 800 bucks uh yeah like seven eight hundred dollars a month but could even be closer to ten thousand for cross canada exposure and anywhere from approximately twelve thousand to fifteen thousand or more for u.s exposure again depending on your radius uh in general the further you travel in u.s the higher the premium will be if you'd like to obtain an official quote on your behalf please contact me so i know that first time uh, first couple of years uh, guys that start uh, you know doing this by themselves they just uh, stick to 500 mile radius of their hometown because that's the cheapest insurance rate and then after a couple of years i think or after a year uh, when they uh, review your your history they can uh, allow you basically increase your radius so yeah i heard about this but basically, see what what he said: twelve to fifteen thousand bucks, you know. So even twelve thousand—that's already a thousand a month, you know. Just why? Because this is individual insurance, you know. That's a very big uh, uh, negative in this situation. Because right now I'm working under the umbrella of a huge company, and they are self-insured, like most companies in U.S. and Canada. So they're using their own money basically. And um, I think I'm paying anywhere, depending on how many miles I do a month, I, I pay about uh, six to seven hundred dollars to these guys, which is, of course, way cheaper because it's fleet insurance, right? I'm just a fleet, I'm part of a fleet of a big deal. Like these guys, if they insure me individually, I suspect they'll charge me close to a thousand bucks, you know, so a thousand bucks for insurance a month, then uh, six hundred dollars for the uh, <laughs> for the load board. I don't know you know like when you start looking at this closely like I did today you know you realize that uh, maybe there's a reason why the you know Landstar still has so many drivers you know otherwise everybody would be independent you know uh, there's a lot of paperwork a lot of costs involved you know because basically you become individual driver and individual carrier so because you do not share your expenses with other members of the same fleet you know the the rates are going through the roof so that's just a quick update what i found out today about uh, 
uh, being independent, uh, you know, and, and uh, trucking on your own. So it's a pretty costly uh, proposition. So thanks for watching.